So let's come to the quant strategy. See, this that image that we have in front of us is the idea behind this is uh, how do you prioritize? So if you have a jar and you have to fill it with rocks, so what rock should you put first? If you put the smallest rock first and then the next smallest and so on, and then you try to put in the largest rock in at the very end, what is going to happen is that you are not going to be able to fit in all of those things. On the other hand, if you start with the largest rock in first, then put the next biggest, then you put the next biggest, and finally you put all the small, small stones in the spaces that are available, then you will get to fill the jar completely without it overflowing as such. The same is with your quant preparation. Get your biggest chunk, the most important part of your quant preparation arithmetic done first. Arithmetic should be done first. It should be done the most also. You need most, most uh, practice in arithmetic. Arithmetic is easy and a lot of people ignore it because of that. That should never be the case. Arithmetic, you should solve 1000 questions from arithmetic. It is the most important topic of your quant preparation. The second most important topics are algebra and geometry. You should say that arithmetic ka mein 1000 questions karunga, algebra geometry ka 500 each karunga. That those two are the second most important things and you should get them done second and you should practice a lot of questions from that. Progressions, logarithms, functions, these are essentially uh, topics just say do teen questions aata hai, max. Do do questions, teen teen question max aata hai. These are the next most important questions of your preparation. I would say that do it after algebra and geometry. Practice at least 200 questions from them. These are the third most important in your preparation. Then you get number systems, PNC, probability, Venn diagrams. Probability and Venn diagrams say zero questions. Aata hai. In the last many years, almost zero questions have come. PNC, one question. Number systems, two questions. But that also changes depending on the year. And that also very easy questions come sometimes or sometimes very difficult questions come. But generally number systems is like the topic is big and the questions come from a very small part of it. I usually say that leave it for the last because a lot, otherwise a lot of students get completely lost in number systems. They are looking at remainder theorems. They are doing all those unnecessary things and then they don't focus on the important parts that are needed. The most important part is arithmetic, then do algebra geometry, then progressions, logarithms, functions, then do number systems, PNC probability and Venn diagrams. Mm -hmm.